Good morning, friends. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning, even though it's kind of overcast and sticky. It's beautiful because we're here. So today for my story, I chose what I think is a good one and a bit different from the, the books that I normally read. Um, it's actually part of a series. Um, and it's the Bad Kitty City series by Nick Gruel. And he writes the words and he draws the picture. So he's an author and illustrator. And I really like this series because I think it's funny and it's, uh, it gives you a lot of information as well. So it's informative and it's funny. Um, and so he has these picture books now, but he started out with chapter books for older kids. Um, so if you have um, older children or if you have a big brother or big sister, they might want to read the chapter books while you listen to or read the um, picture books. But I think that they're really funny and I think that you're going to like them. I know I like them. So let's get started with Bad Kitty Does Not Like Dogs. Kitty has been busy. Now she wants to take a nap. But not Puppy. Puppy wants to play. Woof! Puppy wants to play baseball. Puppy wants to play basketball. Poppy wants to play soccer. Poppy wants to play chess. Even though Poppy does not know how to play chess, Kitty does not want to play with Poppy. Kitty does not want to play baseball or basketball or soccer or chess. Kitty wants to take a nap. Poor puppy. Oh! Kitty has an idea. Kitty wants to play a game called sleep. The player who can sleep the longest wins the game. On your mark, get set, sleep. Snore, snore. Too bad, Poppy loses the game, but Kitty wins, hooray! Kitty does not like dogs. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. I think it's kind of a silly one, but I really like it. Um, and Nick Ruo actually has a couple of other picture books, if you like that one. Um, Kitty does not like candy. Kitty does not like Christmas. And a few other things, a few other books. So if you like that one, you can look out for his other ones. Um... And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in this space tomorrow for more Reading with Miss Painter. Bye-bye.